This is Patricia Love back again with another one of my viewers dreams. We're titling this dream Deadly Galactic Storm Catastrophic Disaster. These are two dreams that are very scary. One was a dream, excuse me, and one was a vision. I'm going to tell it as if I am, this is a dramatized narration, as if I am um, happy to, happy time. I always get that name mixed up. Excuse me, you guys. <laughs> Relax, happy to time. I always want to say happy to, no, happy tube. That is it. Relax, happy tube. Okay. So, excuse me, I'm, it's a little late. <laughs> Marbles are running loose. Okay, here, it, here are the two dreams, okay? Number one. One is a dream. Um, this one is about an air pilot, an airplane pilot. He's a jet pilot. This is an American jet pilot. And I see this plane. And I'm wondering why is it flying so crazy? It's, it's, I, this is bizarre. It's like all of a sudden the plane is dipping and then it's swerving and it's, it's, I mean, it's doing all these crazy maneuvers. And it's a big jet. I mean, we're talking a passenger jet. And I look up in the sky and I realize, oh my goodness, it's like a galactic storm of meteors. These meteors are plummeting the poor plane, and he's trying to stay out of the way. But, I mean, this is the scary part. They were the size of a boulder. I mean, they were boulder size, not little rocks, not like a little baseball. We're talking boulders. And you know how big boulders can get. Well, he's getting, you know, he's, he's getting scared. He's getting beat up a little bit up there. But I mean, these things are coming down in torrents, like a like a, a heavy rain shower. And then all of a sudden, this big boulder comes, and you could see the look of death on this pilot's face. Oh, that was so scary. And he did everything he possibly could, everything in his power, everything humanly possible. But when this boulder hit that plane, it was like he was bombed. It was just one big, massive, crashing explosion. And that was the end of the plane. The plane was just busted up. It just almost disintegrated. Uh, anyway, in midair. It was scary. It was sad to see. He lost the battle. And the meteorites kept coming and kept coming. Oh, we don't want to. We do not want to see that happen. We really don't. Here's number two. This was a vision I had when I was sitting there in worship, and I was spending time with the Lord. It was so peaceful. It was such a moment of serenity. I was feeling good in God's presence. And then all of a sudden I see this vision out of nowhere, this very precise vision, crystal clear. And I'm looking at New York City, to be specific, the city of Manhattan. I'm looking at Manhattan and Manhattan is being ripped. It is actually splitting right down the middle. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. And then part of it just slid into the water. And I said, oh, this is crazy. That is, that is, how many people have died in that? That is something that I hope to God can be prayed away. I hope we can cancel it in prayer. That, that was not fun to watch, people. It really wasn't. So those are my two, my one dream and my one vision. 
These are the last days. We don't know what kind of crazy things are going to happen. That was Relax Happy too. Now, this is Patricia speaking. We really need to pray, you guys. There's so many things. This earth is spewing up the, the mess that we've done to it and the sins that we've committed against God. Everything is speaking against our sins, even nature itself. We've really, really, really got to get down on our knees. I don't mean physically. I don't mean literally. I mean figuratively. We've got to find somewhere to pray to not be disturbed and cry out to God. It's not party time. It's prayer time. Those are the times we're living in. As much as we may want to uh, uh, refuse, reject, or deny, it doesn't stop it from being a fact. God bless you.